I've always been puzzled. Why, why shouldn't, if a, if a poor black woman uh, is living in an area with a bad school, and uh, she can get a voucher, uh, money, uh, to send her child to uh, a parochial school, um, a better parochial school than a public school, why shouldn't she be able to, to do that? Well, there are a variety of issues there. Uh, one of the problems is, of course, when you do that, invariably you gut the public school system. So by sending the student over to the private school, you take resources away from the public school. That is admittedly a complicated issue. And I do want to kind of recenter or remoralize our discussion because I think the type of conversation we're having today is crucial to the future of this country. So I even want to give a little and say, I'm willing to think about that one with my soul, which I don't possess as an atheist. And I want to <laughs> kind of, oh my. if I may, <laughs> you sound conflicted, with my soul here. <laughs> if I may, I want, I want to go back one step, and I want to get back to the question of how... Wait, 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 wait. let's yes. just stick with this question. Sure. Should, should that woman be able to get a voucher and send her kid to the parochial school? In so far as I'm a firm believer in public education and public schools, I would have to say no because of the damage that it does to the greater common good. So I would have to say no. You like Though I do see the reasons why, and I do understand the pain. We're speaking about human lives, after all, children. Well, I mean, do you think the schools have been gutted where that's happened? There, there are some programs where they're doing that. There have been. I'm not familiar with the data on uh, the success. But perhaps. I mean, they simply don't work. I mean, uh, these voucher programs in pla places like uh, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, after years of research, basically the voucher students, the few students are, who are able to get out of their public school, usually do no better academically than do the students in the public schools. I think if you want to find a serious solution to this, we have to make sure that every student is entitled to a quality education in a public school. And that means sometimes spending more money. That's a part of justice, too. Spending the money that it takes to make sure that every student in the Detroit school system has a his or her own textbook and they don't have to share them on alternate nights and that's literally what the kids were telling me when I was out there last year. We got to do it that the way. ground will tremble but I agree with Mr. Lynn on that <laughs> that um, <laughs> we do need to spend much more particularly on the impoverished schools but every experience I've had across the board and I meet these kids that are the products of the school system because I see them when they're 19 years old and they come into these prisons. Every experiment that I am aware of with vouchers has worked and been notably uh, an improvement for particularly the disadvantaged families. And I think they should be available not to the typical middle class or upper class and not to the children of politicians in Washington, all of whom stay out of the public school system in the district. I think they should be made available to the poor.